So first, you're obviously going to go to small forward. As you can see, Giannis is in the middle right there. So for your primary skill, you're going to want to keep that at driving and finishing because as you know, Giannis is a very good finisher. And then for your secondary skill, you're going to want to go to passing and ball handling. So your layups and dunks, they're going to be amazing still because you still have slasher as your primary archetype. And then your ball handling will be a 17 out of 25. So since it's still the prelude and NBA 2K19 hasn't officially dropped yet, I'm not sure what the official attributes are, but based on the build in NBA 2K18, this build is destined to be good. So if you check out the badges, there's Hall of Fame one-man fast break, which is basically Giannis in a nutshell. And then you also have gold Lob City finisher, posterizer, acrobat, teardropper, relentless finisher, and quick reflexes. And you guys can also see that there are a ton of silver badges down here. They're just basic badges like ankle breaker. Like that's honestly pretty good for somebody who's gonna be a 6'10 player. And then with this build, you also get chase down artist, which is pretty good. You get dimer, and then you do get bronze corner specialist. So this build won't be the greatest shooting build, but bronze corner specialist can help a lot when you're shooting from the corner. So for the height, you're gonna wanna go max height, six foot 10, and that's gonna make your dunking and your strength go up. And then for the weight, honestly, this is up to you because if you're making a slasher, you're gonna wanna go heavy, but then if you're making a playmaker, you're gonna wanna go low. So this depends on your play style. So if you're gonna be wanting to get more contact dunks, you're gonna wanna put the weight all the way up. But if you're gonna wanna be more of a dribble head, then you're gonna wanna put the weight all the way down. Personally, if I were making this build, I would max the weight out because your contact dunk goes up and it's going to be so much easier to finish inside. You're going to be a little bit slower, but with that Hall of Fame one man fast break, that's basically going to cancel out the loss of speed. So for the wingspan, you're going to want to put that all the way up because that's going to make your dunking a lot better and it's also going to make your contested shot and your defense a lot better. And also with this build, if you want to make him one inch taller, you could take the power forward route and make him 6'11 or even 7 feet tall. But if you were to do that, then he would lose a lot of ball control. So that's why I chose the 6'10 small forward build. That's going to be it for the video. Drop a like if this video helped you. And also, if you want to see any other build videos, if you didn't like this build, you can check out my other build videos. I'm going to put a card in the top right to one of my other build videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.